I'm back with the Drag Race Simulator, and this time I'm doing what everybody finally wanted, which is playing with my Animal Crossing villagers. I have put 18 of the villagers that have lived on my island of Fallbrook, and we're gonna simulate a season with them and see what chaos we could cause. We have Sprocket, Renee, Melba, Bo, Bubbles, Chatter, Margie, Whitney, Agnes, Wolfgang, Doby, Teddy, Lopez, Gonzo, Poppy, Azelia, Tangy, and Cephalon. All characters that have lived on Fallbrook and now they're here to fight for the crown. So I think for the split premiere, the first nine villagers that are gonna be walking in will make it the first nine villagers that moved on to Fallbrook. So Sprocket and Renee were my starters. And then I found Melba, Bo, and Bubbles. Fun fact, those were my first three villagers that I moved in. And then my campsite villager was Cheese Rat, which I'm ashamed to admit, but it happened. And then I found the girls. The fact that when I officially started villager hunting, Margie, Agnes, and Whitney were the first three that I found, and they've been on the island ever since. Those are my girls. I fuck with them so hard because of that. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do makeup tutorials with past Drag Race contestants, and Whitney won as she should. That's a great way to start the season, Whitney. Now the remaining queens will record vocals and perform in a girl group number to sitting on a secret. Sprocket and Margie had a great performance. Not Sprocket being a pop girly, we love to see it. Agnes Chatter, Whitney and Melba did good, and the other three flopped. On the runway, to no one's surprise, Margie slayed. Whitney did great, and everybody else did good, except for Sprocket, Chatter, and Bubbles. Sprocket and Margie, congratulations, you're the top two of the week. They're gonna lip sync, Margie did great, and Sprocket flopped, obviously. So congratulations, Margie, for winning the first challenge. And now it's time for the week two. Azelia has won the mini challenge this time, and now they're gonna perform a girl group number. So Poppy, Lopez, Teddy, and Azelia all did great. Doby, Tangy, and Wolfgang did good. Gonzo did bad, and Cephalobot flopped. Yikes to Cephalobot. Teddy and Azelia, the top two of the week, and Teddy did a great lip sync, and won the first challenge as well. So Teddy and Margie are officially the first challenge winners. Interesting. They are main characters on the island, so curious to see how this plays out. The entire group is together, all 18 queens are competing, and Tangy has won her first mini challenge. Congratulations. They're gonna improvise in a drag queen spoof of the celebrity gossip and drama television show. Okay, Doby, Margie, Poppy, Bubbles, and Tangy all did great. All of these people here did good, and all you need to know is that Chatter and Sprocket flopped, to no one's surprise. On the runway, Doby slayed. So many people did great. Wolfgang and Gonzo did good, and Sprocket and Chatter did bad, alongside Renee and Seth. So I'm pretty sure we know who the bottom two are this week. Chatter, Margie, Bo, Doby, Tangy, Sprocket, Teddy, and Poppy are the tops and the bottoms of the week. Tangy, oh my God, Miss Tangy coming in in with her first challenge win. She won the mini challenge and the maxi challenge. Good for you, girl. Doby, Poppy, and Margie are safe. <gasps> Teddy and Bo are also safe, which means Sprocket and Chatter are up for elimination, like I said they'd be. The first official lip sync for your life of the season, and they both clearly fucked it up. And um, it doesn't even matter. Sprocket, Shantae, you stay. And just like that, Chatter, the first out of the season because I made all of his stats zero because I don't want him to compete any more than he needs to. Cephalobot leaves set after a heated argument with Sprocket. Ooh, the robots are fighting. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do a quiz about noodles and Gonzo has won the mini challenge. Good for you, Gonzo. They're gonna participate in a parody trailer about luxuries of a queer heaven. Melba, Doby, and Whitney did great. Cephalaba and Bubbles did bad and Bo and Gonzo flopped. Everybody else did good, by the way. But on the runway, wow, Whitney, Doby, Agnes, Azelia, Sprocket, Bubbles, and Bo all did great and Tangy and Cephalaba did bad. Tangy, no. No! Tangy, Gonzo, Doby, Bubbles, Melba, Whitney, Cephalobot, and Bo are all the tops and the bottoms of the week. And the winner of this challenge is Whitney. That's my girl. That's my girl. Exactly. Melba, Doby, and Tangy are also safe. <gasps> Bubbles and Bo are safe too. Ooh, Bo I'm surprised was safe because he flopped the challenge. But that means Cephalobot and Gonzo are up for elimination. <gasps> and they both also flopped 
the lip sync. Okay, so far the lip syncs this season haven't been exactly slaying since week two. Um, interesting. Meh. <laughs> Even though the lipstick was meh, we still made a decision. Gonzo, Shantae, you stay, which means Cephalobot, Cephalobot, sashay away. I'm so sorry. Azelia has now won a mini challenge. Hooray. Now the maxi challenge is the queens will participate in a comedy routine about the Kennedy Davenport Center Honors Hall of Shade. That's a lot of words. Bubbles, Bo, Wolfgang, Margie, Whitney, Sprocket, and Teddy all did great. Poppy, Doby, Melba, Gonzo, Azealia, Renee, and Agnes did good, and Lopez and Tangy flopped. And on the runway, ooh, the girls, the girls, Margie and Whitney both slaying the runway as they should. Bubbles, Azealia, Agnes, Sprocket, Teddy, Tangy, Wolfgang, and Lopez are the tops and the bottoms of the week. Where are Margie and Whitney? Interesting. They did good too. They should be on the main stage. Teddy, I think this is Teddy's second win. Oh. Interesting. Not Teddy being the front runner. Wolfgang, Bubbles, and Sprocket are safe this week. Agnes and Azelia are also safe, which means Lopez and Tangy are now up for elimination. Ooh. And they both did good in the lip sync. For once, we actually had a good lip sync. And the winner of the lip sync is Tangy. Yeah. Yeah, we should have seen that coming. Tangy has a challenge win, so only fair. So Wolfgang and Gonzo won the mini challenge and now they're the team captains for a theater piece and they're all picking their teams. So Wolfgang chose Margie, Gonzo chose Teddy, Wolfgang chose Bo, Gonzo chose Melba, Wolfgang chose Agnes, Gonzo chose Sprocket, Wolfgang chose Renee, and Gonzo chose Tangy. So team one is Wolfgang, Margie, Bo, Agnes, and Renee. Team two is Gonzo, Teddy, Melba, Sprocket, and Tangy. And that means team three are the leftovers. Bubbles, Whitney, Doby, Poppy, and Azealia. Whitney, Wolfgang, Azealia, Margie, Gonzo, Doby, and Sprocket all did great. Poppy, Melba, Tangy, Agnes, Teddy, Bo, and Bubbles did good. And Renee did bad. And on the runway, that happened. The category was ugly dress, so that's why Bubbles slayed the runway this week. Sprocket, Teddy, Gonzo, Renee, Agnes, Tangy, Bo, and Melba are the tops and the bottoms of the week. Gonzo, oh my god, Gonzo with the comeback, winning his first challenge after being in the bottom week one. Okay. Melba, Sprocket, Tangy, and Teddy are safe. Bo is also safe, which means Agnes and Renee are now up for elimination. Agnes did good, and Renee flopped, which means Agnes... Shantae, you stay. So this week's challenge is a runway challenge. The category is the lady. Sprocket, Wolfgang, Bo, Doby, Teddy, Marja, Marja, Melba, Tangy, Poppy, and Agnes all did great and everybody else did good. Okay, so nobody flopped this week. Gonzo, Bo, Doby, Azealia, Poppy, Whitney, Melba, and Bubbles are the tops and the bottoms of the week. And Doby has won a runway challenge. Okay, Doby, the fashion king of the season work. Bo, Melba, and Poppy are also safe this week. Bubbles and Whitney are safe, which means Azealia and Gonzo are now up for elimination. Gonzo, no. He was doing so well after his win. What happened? Oh, Gonzo kissed the guest judge. Interesting. And it wasn't enough because he and Azealia both did bad in the lip sync. So... What now? Oh, Gonzo, Shantae, you stay. Okay, so Gonzo's officially the Lipsnick assassin. This is now his second bottom that he survived. Azealia, on the other hand, sashay away. Bubbles has a meltdown, so Dobie and Whitney viewer is weak. Damn, that's a little rude. Bo won the mini challenge, and as the winner of the mini challenge, they get to decide the teams. So he chose Whitney, Agnes, Bubble, and Wolfgang, and the other two teams are Margie, Poppy, Teddy, and Sprocket, and Tangy, Gonzo, Mo Doby, and Melba. So Teddy, Poppy, Margie, Doby, Melba, Whitney, and Agnes all did great. Sprocket, Bubbles, Wolfgang, and Tangy did good, and Bo and Gonzo flopped. And on the runway, everybody did good. Great and good, so hooray. Teddy, Sprocket, Tangy, Gonzo, Margie, Poppy, and Doby are the tops and the bottoms of the week. Poppy, congratulations, you're the winner of today's challenge. Okay, okay. Margie, Teddy, and Sprocket are safe this week. Doby is also safe, which means Tangy and Gonzo are up for elimination. Ooh, that's not good for Gonzo. I think it's safe to say he might not do good this week. Oh no, and they both flop the lip sync. Tangy, no, not Tangy flopping the lip sync. Uh-oh. Tangy, Shantae, you stay. Gonzo, you tried so hard, but it wasn't enough. And now we ask that you sh sashay away. Oh my God, Bubbles and Poppy get into a huge fight with Melba. 
Poppy, why are you fighting with your girlfriend? With Bubbles of all people? Why are you teaming up with Bubbles? Dobie threw a glass of water at Teddy, period. That's my grandpa. He did that for me. He did that for me because he's my grandpa. Fuck you, Teddy. Gonzo's stats are nasty. Look how many times he's been in the bottom and somehow he still won a challenge. As for everybody else though, um, Teddy is clearly the front runner because he has the most wins. Dobie, Tangy, Poppy and Whitney and Margie all also have wins. And Wolfgang so far has been safe almost every week. He's giving Jan. Agnes has just won the mini challenge. Congratulations, Agnes. They're gonna do outfits with wedding dresses, so a design challenge. And Sprocket, Agnes, Tangy, Poppy, Doby, and Melba all did great. Bo is the only one who did bad though. Bo, Tangy, Bubbles, Whitney, Doby, and Poppy are the tops and the bottoms of the week. And the winner of the challenge is... Doby, oh wow. Doby really is the fashion king of the season. This is his second win and both wins were fashion related. Okay, grandpa, I see you. Poppy and Tangy are also safe. <gasps> Bubbles is safe, which means Whitney and Bo are up for elimination. No, Whitney and Bo are like besties on the island. When Bo used to live there, oh, this is so sad. Oh no, and they both did bad in the lip sync. Why did Whitney do bad in the lip sync? I gave her high lip sync stats. Why did she flop? Um. Um, hello? Hello? Oh, thank God, Whitney. Shantae, you stay. I was about to scream if she got eliminated there. Bo, unfortunately, sashay away. Whitney thinks that the one who needs to get ready to lip sync is Poppy because they did not do great at the challenge. Well, guess what, Tamar? Congratulations, Poppy, for winning the mini challenge. And uh, they're gonna do another commercial challenge about past Drag Race contestants. Doby slayed the challenge. Good for you, Doby. And Sprocket did the worst out of everybody, just so we're clear. On the runway, Teddy slayed the runway. Interesting. And Doby had one of the worst runways of the week. Uh-oh. Doby, Melba, Sprocket, Pot, P, Whitney, and Agnes are the tops and the bottoms of the week. Agnes? Oh. Oh, it's because of that runway. Doby almost won, but because of his runway, he didn't get the win, and it went to Agnes instead. That's fair, but congratulations, Agnes! Snatching her first win, finally! We love to see it. Whitney is safe, which means Melba and Sprocket are now up for elimination. Ooh. Oh my God, they both flopped the lip sync. Why is everybody doing so bad in the lip syncs? I gave most of them good lip sync stats. What is going on? Why does this simulator hate them? Hello? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but none of you showed the fire it takes to stay. You must both sashay away, not the double sashay between Melba and Sprocket of all people. Those two used to have beef when Sprocket lived on the island and they both got eliminated the same week. Oh, Melba's pissed. I just know Melba's pissed. <gasps> But now it's time for the comeback challenge. The eliminated queens will pair up with current contestants in a conjoined drag twin challenge, fighting for a chance to get back in the game. So the current contestants get to choose from the eliminated queens who they want to work with. So Dobie chose Seth, Agnes chose Bo, Poppy chose Lopez. Poppy chose Lopez? You didn't choose Melba, your girlfriend? You chose your ex? Margie chose Gonzo, Wolfgang chose Renee, Tangy chose Melba. Teddy chose Sprocket, Bubbles chose Chatter, and Whitney chose Azealia. Bubbles is still in the competition. Ooh, Poppy slayed the challenge, and Bubbles flopped the challenge. Uh-oh. If Poppy slayed the challenge, that can only mean one thing. Okay, so Teddy, Wolfgang, Poppy, Bubbles, Doby, and Agnes are the tops and the bottoms of the week, and now I want to hear from you. Who should go home tonight and why? Wolfgang said Bubbles because they're lacking kindness to be a winner. Drag her. Doby said Wolfgang because they're lacking kindness to be a winner. Ooh, Poppy said Wolfgang because they have a phone in their hotel room. Not the snitch, not the snitch activity. First, you choose your ex-boyfriend to be your partner over your current girlfriend. And now you're snitching on Wolfgang for no reason. Teddy said Doby because of their lack of growth, polish, and refusal to listen to the judges' critiques throughout the season. You know he has two challenge wins, right? Teddy, 
You know he's like currently your only competition because you're the only other one with two wins. Why are you trying to throw him under the bus like that? Bubbles said Wolfgang because their wigs look like they're laced with lice. They have crunchy outfits and because they shouldn't have even made past the audition stage. Why is everybody ganging up on Wolfgang today? What did Wolfgang do to them? Did they like, did he like shat in their wigs or something? Why is everybody ganging up on him? <gasps> and Agnes said Bubbles because they should have gone home last week. I agree with Agnes because like I said, I forgot Bubbles was still in the competition. Oh no. Poppy, congratulations, you're the winner of today's challenge. Teddy and Agnes are also safe this week. Dobie is safe as well, which means Wolfgang and Bubbles are up for elimination. After both of them getting dragged through the mud on the stage, you know damn well they're pissed. They are pissed and they're gonna come in with fire. And they both actually did good in the lip sync too. Okay, okay, so the winner of the lip sync is Wolfgang. Thank God. I was so worried it was gonna be Bubbles for a second, but thank God, Wolfgang, Shantae, you say. Bubbles, it's about time you finally sashay away. So we're currently at the top nine of the season. We have Poppy, Agnes, Teddy, Whitney, Margie, Tangy, Dobie, Wolfgang, and Lopez, which are mostly everybody who lives currently on Fallbrook 2, which is nice, aside from Tangy. So that's interesting. Poppy, Teddy, and Dobie all have two wins, with Poppy currently being the front runner. I didn't even realize that. Wolfgang is currently the only one without a win. And Lopez, I guess, since that he's now back in the competition. So these two have a lot of catching up to do if they want to see the finale. Ooh, and Lopez coming out strong with the mini challenge win. Okay, and it's time for Snatch Game. Interesting. So Poppy's doing Eleanor Ferruzzi. Agnes is gonna do Jim Carrey. Teddy will do Maria Sophia Love. Whitney's doing Lady Gaga and Margie's doing w Nicki Minaj. Tangy's doing Naomi Campbell. Dobie is doing Selena Malsinski. Wolfgang is doing Dr. Seuss. Interesting, I would have never expected that. And Lopez is doing Julia Child. <gasps> Teddy, Dobie, Wolfgang, and Agnes all slayed. Whitney, Margie, and Poppy did good. And Tangy and Lopez flopped. Ooh, not Lopez flopping right away after returning to the thing. That's so sad. Margie, Teddy, Wolfgang, Tangy, Agnes, and Lopez are the tops and the bottoms of the week. <gasps> Wolfgang coming in clutch. He was in the bottom last week and that lit a fire under his ass. And now he's coming in with the win. With the snatch game wins of all things. Agnes and Teddy are also safe. And Tangy and Lopez are up for elimination. And Lopez slayed the lip sync and Tangy flopped. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lo- Oh. Oh, he just took out one of the competitors. Lopez. Shantae, you stay. He just took out Tangy. Oh, my God. Oh, you know people were pissed off about that elimination. Wolfgang, Lopez, and Poppy drank too many cocktails with Teddy. Margie and Lopez share a cocktail, and then Margie goes and flirts with Wolfgang. Oh my god, this Untucked must have been crazy to watch. Wow, look at that run for Lo or for Wolfgang. Like, the fact that he was mostly just safe every week, was in the bottom one time, and now is coming in with the fire under his ass. It took him 11 weeks, 11 whole weeks for that to finally happen, though. I live, I really do. Teddy has just won another mini challenge, I think. I haven't been paying attention. Ooh, but because he won the mini challenge, he gets to decide the teams for the Bossy Rossi challenge. He chose Lopez, Agnes, and Poppy, meaning Wolfgang, Dobie, Margie, and Whitney are team two. And Agnes slayed the challenge. Wolfgang, Dobie, and Poppy did great, and everybody else did good. And on the runway, the category was goddess, so of course Whitney and Margie slayed together. Okay, so Agnes is the only one safe this week. She did the best in the challenge. I'm sorry, she did the best in the challenge. Why is she safe? Why is she safe? What is that riggery? <gasps> but Whitney won the challenge. Okay, Miss Whitney, love to see that. Margie, Wolfgang, and Dobie are also safe because they were all in the same team. Oh, right, it was a team challenge. Oh, so because Agnes was on the other team, that's why she lost because her teammates are all in the bottom. Poppy is safe though, which means now Teddy and Lopez are up for elimination. Ooh, not Lopez in the bottom again. Oh my God. And they both did good in the lip sync. So, um, it's pretty safe to say we know what's gonna happen. Teddy, Shantae, you stay. Yeah, Lopez came, got eliminated, came back, bought him a few weeks, and now he's being eliminated again. What an interesting run. Wolfgang and Dobie kiss, and it was noticed by Teddy. 
Wolfgang and Teddy started to cry after talking about their families and similarities in life. And then Dobie and Wolfgang got into a huge fight with Teddy. Why are they like, why were they the main characters of this episode? Oh my God. It's time for the reading challenge. It's all randomly generated. So let's just skip to see who won. Wolfgang. Okay. You look like the kind of person who enjoys hemorrhoids. I don't even want to know who said that to Dobie. Wait, who said that to, oh, of course Teddy did. Of course Teddy did. Of course he said that. It's time for the roast. And to nobody's surprise, Agnes slayed the roast. And everybody else did great and good. So that's fun to see. On the runway, Whitney slayed, Teddy did great, and everybody else did good. Agnes, finally, Agnes coming through with her second win. Yes, hell yes. Teddy is safe, which means Dobie and Margie are up for elimination. Uh, Margie did great and Dobie did bad. But I don't have Riggery turned off, so um, Doby does have the better stats, so I think I know what that means. Yeah, um, Doby, Shante, you stay, I guess. Margie, my poor girl. Sashay away, I hate that she's placing seventh, I'm not gonna lie. Everybody's out here with two wins except for Wolfgang, but Wolfgang's currently on a really good streak, so... Interesting. We're at the top six. There's only three weeks left until the finale. It still seems like it's anybody's game at this point. So I'm curious to see where it goes. Teddy has won another mini challenge. Okay. And acting challenge. Wolfgang, Dobie, Poppy, and Agnes did great. And Teddy and Whitney did good. Oop. Okay. Wolfgang, congratulations, you're the winner. Now he's coming in with his second win. Everybody left in the competition now has two wins. That's a fierce top six, not gonna lie. Dobie and Poppy are also safe. Agnes is safe, which means Whitney and Teddy are now up for elimination. Uh-oh. It's a Beyonce song and Whitney slayed the lip sync as she should. And Teddy did bad. Teddy did bad in the lip sync. Oh, Whitney. That's mother, that's mother taking out the trash with that lip sync. She probably served Jasmine Kennedy during the Sugar Mama lip sync. That's what she did. She wanted Teddy gone. So Teddy, sashay away. The Queens will do outfits with winter items. Whitney and Poppy slayed. Agnes did great. And Dobie and Wolfgang did good. <gasps> Whitney won. Oh my God. Yes. Whitney's the first queen to get her third challenge win. That's what I love to see. That's what I love to see. Agnes and Poppy are also safe, which means Dobie and Wolfgang. No, my boys. My boys are up for elimination. No, not at top five. Wolfgang did great. And Dobie did good. Uh-oh. Oh my God, Wolfgang. Shantae, you stay. Wow. Wow, when one Supreme fades, another one rises. He took out one of the front runners. The fact that Whitney has the most wins, but she also has the worst PPE score, that's kind of rotted. But we're at the top four officially. Uh, Wolfgang's track record, oh my God, look at this symmetry. Bottom two, win. High, high, win, bottom two. It is now the semi-finale. And in today's mini challenge, the Queens will do a photo shoot about the pit crew. Agnes and Poppy won together. And now it's time for the ball. The themes are queen of the stage and festival realness. Wolfgang and Poppy did great. Whitney and Agnes did good. Oh, Wolfgang. Wolfgang with his third challenge win. Oh, okay. Wolfgang coming in clutch right at the end. Poppy is safe, which means the girls are now up for elimination. Whitney and Agnes are about to lip sync and Whitney slayed. Agnes did great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. It's a double Shantae. My girls, my girls are still in the competition. I was not ready to lose another one of them. Wow. <laughs> We're still at the top four. This is starting to look crazy towards the end. And the fact that Poppy is still the only one to never be in the bottom. I'm starting to think there's a little rigory going on. Poppy has just won another mini challenge. And they're gonna now participate in a dance number about cheerleaders. Wolfgang, Whitney, and Poppy did great, and Agnes did good. Let me guess, the simulator did the double Shantae so that they can give Poppy his third win, right? I'm assuming that's what's about to happen. Oh. Wolfgang just got his fourth win. I didn't expect that. Poppy is safe for another week, which means... Whitney and Agnes are once again up for elimination. This time Whitney did good and Agnes did bad. So, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. They, they could have just eliminated Agnes last week then. Because now Whitney has a fourth bottom. 
on her track record. Poppy and Whitney plan to jump Wolfgang, and then Wolfgang spits on Poppy, and then Wolfgang and Poppy kiss? What the fuck? Ew. <laughs> Look at Wolfgang's track record. What is this? Like he was literally just there until episode 10 and then decided to become the main character towards the latter half of the season. That is so crazy. What the hell? But just like that though, we have made it to the finale and they're letting the Eliminated Queens do a reading challenge, who cares? It's time for Miss Congeniality. Who are the Fallbrook girls gonna vote for Miss Congeniality of this season? Miss Congeniality is Cephalob, oh my God. Not Cephalobot winning. That seems so fitting. Of course he won. Of course he won. <gasps> Our top three, Wolfgang, Poppy, and Whitney, are now going to participate in a music video to RuPaul's newest single. And on the runway, the category is best drag. Poppy and Wolfgang did great, and Whitney did good. Whitney, my dear, I'm so sorry, but this is not your time. She was who I wanted to win. I gave her the best stats, and somehow she ended up in the bottom four times. But we have our top two of the season, Poppy and Wolfgang, and they're about to lip sync. Poppy did great, and Wolfgang did bad. Um, So the winner of the season is, bam, Poppy. Yeah, yeah, we should have seen that coming. Despite him having only two wins, he did kind of have like a good run throughout the season. Like, look at this. This is literally giving Drag Race France season two. Kiona versus Sarah forever. That's what happened right here. Kiona being Poppy and Wolfgang being Sarah. Like, look at this. They boosted his track record towards the end, but it wasn't enough because Poppy slayed from day one. We love the consistency. And this is further proving that I really need to start giving Poppy more credit. Wow, what a crazy season.